Good morning all. How do you turn an Arduino Nano into an Arduino Uno? And why would you want to? Now, when I say Arduino, I do, of course, mean cheap uh, Chinese Arduino compatible clone, not the original genuine article. This one is the only genuine one amongst this lot. And uh, when I say turn a Nano into an Uno, I don't mean any sort of physical transformation from this form factor to the larger one. In fact, you can do that quite easily with one of these um, adapter boards. You simply plug the Nano into it and it becomes Uno form factor. No, what I mean is make a Nano appear to the Arduino IDE as though it's an Uno. So why would you want to do this? Well, one reason is memory. The Uno actually has more memory than the Nano. I've uh, opened a blank sketch here, it's just empty setup, empty loop, it's got today's date, and I've set uh, in tools that I'm compiling this for an Arduino Uno there. Now if I hit compile, you can see in the uh, text at the bottom that we've only used a tiny amount of the space of this chip of course, but the maximum is 32256. Now, if I change this to a Nano, so under Tools, Board, uh, Arduino Nano, and then Recompile it, it says Build Options Change Rebuilding All. And it does take a little while. We can now see that, again, we've used very little of the space, but now instead of 32256, we've actually only got 30,720 bytes. Hmm, let's have a look at those numbers. Now, of course, in terms of the chip, both the Nano and the Uno use the ATmega 328P, and of course the chip's the same in both. It has 32K of memory, which is 32768. The Uno is the same, 32768. Now, the maximum reported uh, for the Nano was 30,000, uh, let me just check that, 720. But for the Uno, it was 32256. Why? Well, it's all down to the size of the bootloader. In the Nano, the bootloader is, we'll do a subtraction here, it's 2048, 2K in other words. And in the Uno, the bootloader is just 512 bytes. And that's because the Uno uses this. Optiboot, a small and fast bootloader for Arduino. And uh, it says down here, it allows larger sketches. Optiboot is a quarter of the size of the default bootloader, 512 bytes uh, against 2048, freeing 1.5K of extra space. But look at this, it also makes your sketches upload faster. Optiboot operates at a higher board rate and has streamlined programming. And uh, down here it says Optiboot is now installed by default on the Arduino Uno, but not the Nano and not the Pro Mini. So if we could put this Optiboot bootloader in the Nano, we'd have the larger sketches and the faster uploading. Let's see if we can do it. So what I need to do is I need to program the Uno bootloader, the Optiboot bootloader, into my Nano chip, my ATmega 328P. Now what I'm going to use for this is a USB Tiny ISP, uh, which is an in-system programmer. Now I need to connect this to the ISP header. Got to be careful I get pin 1 lining up with pin 1, so it's actually going to go that way round, which is slightly awkward. Right, let's plug that into my PC. So the first thing I'm going to do is just check in my device manager that the USB Tiny ISP is there. And we have an entry here, Atmel USB devices. Let's just click that. And uh, yeah, there's the USB Tiny. So that's being seen by the PC, that's fine. Now in the uh, IDE, I'm actually going to select Board Uno this time, even though I've got a Nano plugged into the programmer. I'm also going to check that the program is set to USB Tiny ISP, and it is. And now I'm going to burn the bootloader. Right, I've positioned the Nano up here on a box, 
uh, just so we can see what the lights do. Uh, so now I'm going to do a burn bootloader and of course it's going to burn the UNO bootloader. Let's see if it works. Burn bootloader. Well the lights are flashing and in fact it says here done burning bootloader. Let's see what the upshot is. So I've now opened the blink sketch. Let's put that there. Let's make sure that we're set to UNO because uh, well my Nano is now an UNO. Uh, COM5 on here and let's try, no not compile, the other one, upload. Okay, rebuilding, compiling sketch, uploading, and there it is. The blink sketch is blinking, so that's flashing. Um, it says that we have a maximum of 32256, that's the larger space. So this would now appear to be an Uno. Um, let's just tell it it's a Nano again and see what happens if we try and upload this as though this is a Nano. Compiling. Well, the memory is the smaller amount. It says uploading dot dot dot, but I don't think it is. It seems to have got a bit stuck. I'll just come back in a moment. And uh, that's now come back with an error. It says problem uploading to board. Uh, the chip hasn't programmed. So this is certainly not working as a Nano anymore. This is now an Uno. Now this problem is almost certainly due to board rates. So let's have a look at that next. So what I want to do is get a more verbose output from uh, down here. So I'm going to go to File, uh, Preferences, and I'm going to turn on uh, Show Verbose Output During Compilation and Upload. Why not? So that we can see better what's going on. Now let's try the upload again. Uh, this is the compilation text here. I could make that a bit bigger actually by stretching that out. And it says overriding board rate 57600. Let's get this more dark so the camera can see it better. And we're getting these uh, sync problems. Programmer is not responding. Uh, STK500 get sync attempt 1 of 10. Not in sync, attempt 2 of 10, not in sync. So there's a definite problem here, and it's almost certainly this 57600 board rate. Let's put it back to Uno. So I've set it back to an Uno again now, uh, COM5. So let's try the upload as an Uno. There's the compilation messages. Just waiting for the upload. And now it says, well, it's gone off the screen, but it was 115, 200. Let me see if I can scroll back to that. Yes, that's here. So it seems that the UNO transfers data at a board rate of 115, 200. And the NANO, when you set this IDE to the NANO, it attempts to do it at 57, 600. So there it is. My NANO is now an Arduino UNO. And you actually have to set UNO in the IDE, otherwise this thing won't program. But it does mean now that this has one and a half K more memory and it uploads sketches twice as fast. Now there's just one more thing I need to do. And that is I need to make a little tiny sticker so that I don't forget that this Nano is now an Uno. Well, okay, the sticker doesn't quite fit, but I need some way of identifying that this Nano is no longer a Nano, it's actually an Uno. And uh, when plugged into one of these expansion boards, my Uno Nano not only behaves like an Uno, it even looks like one. Cheerio.